Hello and welcome to this short scratch tutorial in which I'm going to be showing you two different ways to code your sprites to move. So if you look at the screen here, you can see I've got two suns in the middle of the screen, uh, and a red one and a yellow one. And if I click the up arrow and the other arrow keys, you can see that they move, but they move very differently. One moves smoothly and the other one moves a little bit kind of uh, jittery. So I'm going to show why that is, and you'll also be able to understand how to better code your sprites to move smoothly. So first of all, let's look at the orange sun, and you can see the code here that I have. It's very simple. It's just, you know, when up, arrow up, change Y, when arrow down, change Y, left and right, change X, okay? So it's very, very simple. So when you press it, you know, every time it sends a message, and it, that's why it's a little bit, it's not so smooth, it kind of it's a little bit jumpy. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make it smoother um, as I have with the yellow sun here. Okay, so let me go to a brand new page and I'll show you how to code that. So what we have to start off with is the uh, green one when clicked and then we go for forever. Okay, and this is the magic thing. Having this forever makes it run more smoothly. Okay, and then if and then you're going to go to... Oh, my mistake. We're not going to have the red green flag. We're going to have when that arrow is up. Okay, so when up, forever, if, and then you're going to go over here to um, sensing, and then you're going to put in the up arrow here again, up arrow. Okay, and then you're going to go to your move options. Okay, so we're going to move this is the up ones. We're going to move it by Y, change Y. Change Y by 10. Okay, and let's just see how that how that works now. You can see it's moving quite smoothly already. Okay, now a little tip in case you're not aware of this. Um, when you've already created some code and you want to create something similar, you just click on there, duplicate. Okay, so I'm going to move this over here. Now I'm going to move this to down. Okay, and down arrow. And obviously when we're moving it down, we want to change it by minus 10. Okay, let's have a look and see if that works. Up and down. Okay, great. Now we're going to do left and right. So we duplicate it again. Put it over here. We're going to change it to the right arrow. Right arrow. And we're not going to use Y this time. We're going to use X because X is X does left and right. Okay, let's check that works now. Yeah, that works great. And duplicate it one more time. And we'll put that over there. Boop. And this time we're going to say left. And it'll be minus 10. Okay. And there you can see it moves. Oh, what have I done wrong? Left arrow. Okay, here it is. Yeah. And there you can see nice and clear our orange or our sun or whatever sprite it is you've got will move a lot more smoothly this way. So really, really a great way to do it, okay? Like I said, a lot of people, when they learn to do the coding right the first time, they'll just learn the most basic one, which is this one here. But as you can see, it's rather sort of stuttery. So far better to use the um, code when you have forever, if the key touched, and then you explain how you want it to move from there. So that's just a very simple tutorial. Um, I hope you've found it useful. If you have, please do click like, and please do check out our other videos um, on how to make games and do other great things in Scratch. Thanks for watching.